Hi everyone, Sherman Chin here and with the launch of the AMD Ryzen 9 AI uh, 300HX or 300 series I'm going to talk about it now uh, Yesterday I was talking about Intel Luna Lake but then more hype is coming up about the AMD chip So getting... let's listen to PC Combat World talk cores, about it you are getting non-compact cores here you are getting so you're gonna have Zen two cores four of them on the top end ai9 hx470 let's actually take a look at it here that's the hx470 and there's a lower end Zen one fives, and then you are going to get eight zen 5 c's zen 5 c meaning compact basically amd's been doing this on its servers for a while where they take the chips they cut down some of the cast they make them literally smaller but they're actually so they're actually smaller cores there are eight of these smaller cores versus uh the four like the performance cores. so on the intel you get like the uh what they call that p cores which are the performance cores versus the e cores efficiency cores and over here um they have the performance cores that are the four full size cores versus the eight smaller cores for power efficiency because they are smaller they use less power the cores the main reason i think amd sort of favors this approach is um, it doesn't get to that weirdness that Intel has run into with its performance cores and efficiency cores. They really didn't want to get into throwing too much shade at the competitors, but basically their feeling is like, look, these are the same cores, but you get a little less cash, so it's smaller, we can get you more on there. You basically have sort of this four core cluster in this chip designed for high performance, a high responsiveness, and then you get that eight core Zen 5C compact, a little less cash for throughput. So, like, maybe you need to run something that needs. Okay, to let's just speed up a bit. Cores, so now it's Check out uh, maybe around nine minutes in, where he talks more about the architecture of the core. No. Engineers out to help a lot of uh, software add AVX512 to their applications to support Skylake X, to support Tiger Lake, to support Rocket Lake. When we got. To when we got to Alder Lake 12th Gen, when we got to Raptor Lake, they basically had to get rid of AVX 512. So all of that hard lifting that they had done to get people to support AVX 512. So uh, what he's can... saying here right now is that AMD has a lot of this high-end, like hyper-trading, for example, that Intel is removing from uh, their upcoming Intel Luna Lake to reduce the power draw or the power usage so over here the amd is still going to be very powerful so i'm assuming that it's going to draw more power than what intel is doing so like i said before intel is going to be in between the snapdragon and amd and amd is obviously going to be more powerful now so let's just keep ahead here and see some of the uh, performance and benchmarks i guess so over here you can see it uh, copy okay. text, but they there didn't so before Intel showed off anything about Lunar Lake, its upcoming CPU. So this was done before the before. Lunar Lake? We saw real numbers based on... Um, okay, let me just summarize this. Basically, you see that uh, yellow line there, that is the AMD, okay, the yellow bar. And then you see the grey bar there, that is uh, probably the uh, Intel Core ultra 9 which is uh, probably meteor lake or even probably before that but the point is that you can see amd is much uh, higher in performance versus the middle one which is snap the snap dragon okay so uh, obviously this is before before luna lake and when luna lake comes out then you're gonna be able to see it go up a bit but i don't think it will outclass uh it will outclass this AMD chip because simply because Intel is trying to reduce performance to increase battery life. So uh, let's check out at 33 minutes here, we're gonna have this. I've listened to this entire video, so I'm just skipping to the part that's it's, interesting. It's very impressive, you just, so, you just can't beat that. And um, I, you gotta admit, if you want gaming performance, in a thin and light uh, laptop, yeah, it's not going to be primarily what you're going to do, but you want the best gaming out of it. You're going to want Radeon 890M, you're going to want Ryzen AI 300 out of there. So let's actually take a look, quick look at this slide. Uh, this actually slow shows 
uh, a look at the dye itself. Again, it is a monolithic dye. So These are actually the when, cores. when he said a monolithic dye, it's because it's all on one dye. Although it's a system on chip, you will see everything on just one single like chip, right? So, uh, so it's like the entire thing, including the neural processing unit, the graphic processing unit, and the microprocessing unit. It's all on one single die or one single chip. Not to scale, and he's purposely made these not to scale to mess with the press that wants to know how these things are scaled. But these are basically your compact cores with a smaller cache. This is your cluster of four cores with a larger cache. So this is your 12 core cluster for the top end AMD uh, HX part. And then here you get your, your RDNA 3.5, your Radeon graphics. So basically your graphics cores are here and then also you are getting the new XDNA2 for your NPU that gives you 50 uh, tops, uh, technically the best for uh, uh, AI performance in, uh, in, a, in a CPU today in a laptop outperforming, it should outperform easily until Meteor Lake, it does also up. There you go, it actually performs the Intel uh, Luna Lake at 50 tops for the uh, what do you call that the XDNA2 architecture for its neural processing unit so imagine that it's going to outperform Intel in the neural processing unit I think it's going to outperform it in the microprocessing unit as well which is the CPU uh, central processing unit and of course uh, for the graphics we are not sure yet how the uh, RDNA 3.5 which is like Radeon graphics, integrated Radeon graphics compared to Intel's Arc graphics or the better image graphics. So we have to see how it performs in terms of graphics, but in terms of uh, microprocessing or the central processing unit, uh, it's going to be better because there's, um, there's still like what they have different threads, in, uh, they process different threads in parallel, whereas Intel has removed that hyper threading a capability to increase battery life so uh, with that being said i hope you guys like videos like this if you do please do uh, subscribe click that notifications button and give me a thumbs up comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one uh, all right take care guys thank you so much bye now